So there's a lot going on right now. There's this quarantine slash pandemic going on. A lot of people have been laid off. A lot of people are just stuck at home. A lot of people still do have jobs, but it's just kind of like a, a boring life right now. But something to add a little bit of fun into it is the stimulus package just got passed and it happens to be the largest one in history. With that said, even though this is somewhat of an economic crisis, there's a lot of financial benefits to it. There's extra money coming from the stimulus package. There's incentives for unemployment going on. There's work that's paying people an immense amount of PTO. There's a lot of things going on that can really put you a, a, a step forward in this whole financial thing. But the question comes, and a question I've gotten a lot lately is, do I pay off debt or do I save money? And with that, I want to give you some insight in this video and hopefully you enjoy it. Keep on watching, we're about to get into it right now. In order to really come up with the decision between these two, all you really need to do is two things. For one, in order to find out what the best decision is for you, you really need to look at the current situation at large and really see which one is going to benefit you because that's how you're going to be able to prioritize which one is more important and which one is just the overall better decision. Like I said earlier, there's a pandemic going on. A lot of people are in the house, they're cut hours or they're completely out of work. And with that said, if you're one of the fortunate individuals who still has a job or still has income coming in no matter what, then congratulations. But if you still have debt, you really have a decision to make. Since there's so much uncertainty around this issue, no one really knows how long this is going to last. No one knows the prolonged impact of the economy. No one knows when they'll be able to come back to work. Everybody just has an idea of these things. Like no one really knows one single answer. And of course, businesses want to start right back up right away, but a lot of them aren't able to due to the overall impact of this. And I'm afraid this is just the beginning. So with that said, you have to really think right now, I think it will be best to save money because you don't know what's going to happen. And if you still do have a job, Who's to say that your job won't lay you off tomorrow or next week or next month? We don't know. We don't know how long this is going to last. So if you save your money, in addition to the money you already have saved, you're going to be way, way ahead of the game in terms of financial stability. And you won't have, you won't be one of the many who are worrying and freaking out and ripping your hair out because you don't know where your next meal is going to come from because you didn't prepare for this. And I say this specifically because student loans, which is one of the biggest forms of debt, by the way, next to credit card debt. Federal student loans have completely waived their interest rates, not for every single type of loan, not for every single federal loan, but for about 85% of the federal loans, they've waived the interest rates completely and they've put every single borrower into what is called an administrative forbearance, which basically just means that this is a relief period where they don't have to pay anything. Anyone who has auto pay on, they have immediately just canceled them. Now you can override that by going in there and just saying that you don't want to be a part of this administrative forbearance, that's fine, but you should take advantage of the fact that you're in an administrative forbearance and you can put away as much money as possible, especially with most of the loans and probably all of your loans are going to be completely waived in at 0% interest rate. So at this point, your, your debt is not growing if that's the case. If your debt's not growing, then why not save money? Why not? I mean, the money that you would have put into that, you could put into your savings and it's not growing. So basically the moral of the story is if your debt isn't growing at a ridiculous rate and you can save as much as you want to and your debt just stays the same, it's really a better idea to save, especially with the interest rates normally being between four and 5% when it comes to student loans, they're at zero now. So there's really no point in putting that money into it. You're being forgiven for this six month period. It's going to be taking place through September 30th, by the way. That said, if your savings are looking good, if you're comfortable with the amount of savings you have, let's say you have three to six to even eight to 12 months worth of savings in your savings account, and you're not so worried about anything, then I mean, by all means, if you have extra money and you can afford to put some extra money into your debt, which most people can, then by all means, you can do that. I'm not a financial advisor and I definitely, definitely don't know everything. I'm just erring on the side of being careful because no one expected this to happen. No one expected to be stuck at home. No one expected to have their hours cut and streams of incomes cut. So in my mind, saving is going to be the priority. And then you can pay off debt six months from now. That's just my opinion. Like if you really want to pay off debt, you can save some of that money and put it over here. And then after that six months, you can throw all that money into your debt. You could do that. In my opinion though, saving is more important right now because your mind should be on surviving through this chaos that is going on. And if you throw all your money at debt, 
yeah, your debt's going to be down, but you can't pay for groceries with paid off debt. You know what I mean? So you got to think about it in, in the short term and in the long term in this case. That said, student loans are not the only type of debt. There's also credit card debt. Credit card companies have decided to go ahead and give financial assistance. However, it's not to the extent of like a, a federal student loan. It's not to that extent at all. So you got to be careful there because there's still the crazy high interest rates of like over 17%. So like even if you just pay the minimum payment, you're still paying the interest. So like I would definitely get that number down as low as possible. So you're not paying an arm and a leg in interest on a credit card debt. Also, just look into your credit card like wh whoever you have your credit card with, just look into their policies and look at into what they're doing for you. Like they might waive your interest rate completely. I mean, a lot of them haven't, and I, I can't think of any that have, but look into it. You don't know. I mean, they could, they could be looking out for you, but basically the higher your interest rate is, that's where you want to focus your energy. You want to focus your money towards where your highest interest rates are, because in this case, it doesn't make any sense to let your debt grow at an exponential rate, not really exponential, but you get what I mean, at an exponential rate, right? But then your savings is just going up by maybe $100 a month, but your debt's going up like this. And then next thing you know, you go from owing 500 to owing 1500. Extreme example, but it happens every single day. So you really have to look at what is impacting you right now. Like obviously a credit card is pretty immediate. And even though they're cutting the interest rate somewhat, that doesn't that doesn't mean they're not still high. I mean, if they're over 7%, like that's still pretty freaking high. So just make sure you do your due diligence and see what you can find as far as what your company has done for you as far as credit cards so that you can be ahead of the game and that you're not just drowning in debt amidst uh, economic crisis. And the second thing you need to do is look at this whole thing in terms of worst case scenario, because that's what most people did not do when they had the chance to do it, you know, back when life was normal and we could like go out to places and go to movie theaters and stuff. Now you can't do that. People can't even go to work anymore for the most part. When life was normal and people had time to get ahead of stuff like this, they didn't. I mean, think about how many people freaked out when this whole thing happened. Think about how many people freaked out and bought everything in the grocery store when this first happened. Think of the people who didn't have three to six months worth of expenses or even a thousand dollars at that matter in their savings account before all of this stuff happened. That's a lot of people, you know what I mean? So if a lot of people didn't prepare then, it is definitely important to prepare now because you think stuff like this isn't gonna keep happening, happening over and over again. Like it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when it may happen again in this lifetime it might not but you want to be prepared because no one foresaw this happening but it did and it hit like no other and it caught a lot of people off guard and a lot of people need help a lot of people are on unemployment and that stimulus package really is really going to help out a lot of people so make sure you're thinking in terms of worst case scenario think you know what if this lasts another month? Think of what if this lasts another six months? What if this lasts another year? You can prepare yourself. Right now you can get ahead because this is the six month period of relief for your student loans. You can take advantage of that. If you're, you know, if you have a bunch of student loans, don't worry about that. Worry about making sure that you're gonna be good six months from now. If something happens with your job, the average person that is on unemployment is getting their full pay are pretty close to it because they've increased it by $600 a week, which is more than they've ever done in history. With that said, you can really get ahead with these things. Keep in mind, okay, worst case scenario, this lasts another six months and I lose my job. Okay, well, I know I have four months here worth of unemployment pay. I know I have this stimulus check coming in. I know I have this, I know I have that. I know I have this much saved up. I need to save this much more if I'm gonna be better off by, you know, if they extend it another two months after that. I mean, you really have to play with this thing and think of it in your head, like, what would I need in, in the worst case scenario? Like, think of pretty much your worst nightmare with this whole situation and think of how you would prepare for it. And a lot of people might deem this unnecessary, but a lot of people deemed saving for an emergency fund and saving three to six months worth of expenses as unnecessary before this crap happened. Now the people who were prepared, they're good. They're comfortable. They're not worried about anything. But the people who didn't, they're worried. And they don't know what's going to happen next. And none of us know what's going to happen next, but it's better to be prepared because then you're not freaking out all the time.
So I'm huge on paying off debt because paying off debt essentially increases your net worth. However, in a time like this, eh, if you can do it, you know what I mean? Like, absolutely. If you have extra money and you have income coming in and you have a good savings, it's not going to hurt you if you put money towards debt. I just wouldn't throw tons of money at debt, especially if you're in a lot of it, because that can hurt you. And that's really what I want to take home is it's really up to you and it's up to your situation that you have to analyze for yourself. Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't give you advice for you because I don't even know your situation. All I know is the way that my mind works in my current situation is better to save. It just is. But some of you may be in a position to where you can just throw aggressive amounts of money towards your debt. Hey, by all means. But right now, and this is probably what you expected me to say, save your money, just save it. You know, you can pay off your debt later. I mean, put money towards it, but you don't have to $2,000 here, $2,000 there, and another $3,000, you're doing too much, stop, stop. Save your money, man, save your money. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. I'm Reggie Bryant. This channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances and control your life. This is a hard time for a lot of people right now and just make sure you stay afloat. Make sure you stay positive. Make sure you find ways to get ahead financially. Take this quarantine time. It's time to tap into your creativity. Tap into things that are going to bring you some more income in. Think about you know your own business or whatever the case is, a YouTube channel, whatever. Do something that adds value, that adds skill to you, that makes you more valuable so that you can stay ahead financially. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you like this video and leave a like. Thanks so much for watching.